Welcome back to another best laptop setups video. This is episode number 11. There's no winner from last week because we did a reaction video to other YouTubers laptop setups, but today's winner is going to go home with $75. So make sure to vote for them on my discord server after this video. Also, please keep liking and subscribing. It's working. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. And the more people that like it and subscribe, the more it helps the series out. Now, the first setup comes from Pharrell. He's from Jakarta, Indonesia, not India but Indonesia. And I say that with a lot of emphasis because a couple of episodes, you guys flamed me in the comments for getting it wrong. So I apologize, okay? He's an architecture student. He, he does a lot of projects. He uses the setup for media consumption and casual gaming. And the laptop of choice is the Legion Y530. Now, some of you are saying, Matt, this man is crazy. He has his Legion Y530 closed inside of a laptop stand. Now, from an aesthetic standpoint, it looks much better. And I'm okay with this. It just depends on the gaming laptop. There's no vents on the top of the keyboard deck. All the airflow is happening from the vents on the side and the vents on the bottom. So having it in this position is okay for heat management. Now it's a black laptop. He obviously has this very clean and simplistic black and white theme going. He's using a Ikea Lakpaten desk with Alex and Tilsag's poles to hold everything up. He has a Xiaomi 34 inch curved ultra wide monitor. I love the way this thing looks, you know, because it's so wide, it covers the actual arm, which is from North Bayou, and it gives the monitor the impression that it's floating off the table. Now he doesn't have stereo speakers, which I found kind of weird, but he is using one good speaker. It's the Harman Kardon Studio Onyx One, which looks pretty cool. It has this like funky circular design, and he's using this big wide black mouse pad that spans the entire desk. Now he is using a pretty wireless setup because the cables are managed nicely. Like if you look under the desk, he took his time and he did such a great job with cable management. The keyboard is a Keychron keyboard. I've personally used this too. It's the K2. It's great. It's mechanical. And then he's using a G305 gaming mouse. Now, a lot of people buy this because it's cheap, it's affordable, and it does the job. It's actually a really good mouse for any setup, but it's also very good if you're moving around a lot. Now, the only thing I don't like about this setup is it feels a bit too bare. Like it feels hospital-like, you know? And there's, there's no accent colors. There's nothing to showcase his personality. Like he has this pegboard on the wall and there's nothing hanging on it. Like there's nothing in this setup that speaks to Pharrell or shows off Pharrell's personality. The second setup comes from Alfonso and I think the setup looks good. I hope it looks good, but I'm gonna teach you how to take a picture because I can't barely see anything. It's very dark, but based on what I can see, I think it did a good job. You know, like this setup is based around the HP Envy X360, which is a great laptop, especially for the price. And he's a teacher. He uses this setup for his online classes. He also edits some photos using Lightroom or Photoshop. And of course, just like everybody else, he consumes content. So his laptop of choice is more than enough of what he needs. He is using an i7 processor, which is great. And he has it docked in a laptop stand. I think it looks clean. And because his desk is so wide, it sits nicely on the left-hand side of his desk. Now he is using an MX Master 3 mouse, which is a fantastic mouse, at least from what I heard. I'm lefty, so I can't use it. And just like the previous dude, he's using a Keychron keyboard. This keyboard is super popular. If you're unsure what mechanical keyboard to get, the Keychron is always a very safe choice. Now he does have a BenQ monitor, which he uses instead of the laptop display. And it looks like it's a 27 inch monitor or maybe 32, which is more than enough screen real estate that you don't need the laptop display open. Now, I just like the tone of this setup, you know, like he has a little bit of RGB in the back to give it a nice vibe. There's a plant on the left hand side to make it feel like it's alive. He has a, a nice looking chair, which matches the aesthetic. He has pencils on his desk, so he actually looks like a teacher. He, there's a microphone on a boom arm, which he obviously uses to talk to his class. I have no idea what kind of microphone it is because he didn't say, but everything you would need to run an online class is present on this desk. The third setup comes from Carlos and straight up, there is nothing special about this setup at all. I mean, there's nothing going on here, but the reason why I'm showcasing it is because I personally think it's the perfect setup for a dorm room. A lot of you guys are going back to school right now. Space is super limited if you're living in a dorm room. And I feel like this is all you need in a tight space. It doesn't take up a lot of physical real estate and you are still comfortable enough that the ergonomics are good enough to do your homework. 
Like he has this MacBook Air M1, it's sitting on a laptop tray. So the MacBook Air is eye level, so it doesn't hurt his neck as he's working for hours and hours on end. He's not using the laptop keyboard because if he does, it would cause him to crank his neck downwards. So instead, the laptop stand keeps it higher. And then he uses a cheaper Logitech K380 keyboard as a wireless solution. And then he pairs it with a Logitech M585 mouse. Honestly, Nothing special, super simple, it's clean, and if you're in a dorm, this is all you need to get your work done. The four setup comes from Samuel, and I dig the vibe. It has this neon and RGB vibe to it. There's lights spilling on the table. It's not overbearing or overdone. It looks pretty cool. And the fun thing is, even though you would think the laptop is a MacBook Air, it's actually a Huawei MateBook X Pro from 2018, but he turned it into a Hackintosh. It's running macOS Monterey beta. Now he has this Huawei MateBook running macOS attached to a LG 29 inch monitor in landscape mode. And that monitor is sitting on a desk shelf. I like that. Not only does it raise the monitor up to put it in eye level for you, but it also gives you another space to store your items. It just cleans up your desk a bit nicer. The monitor in portrait mode is also from LG. This is a 24 inch monitor. And because he put it in portrait mode, it looks better than having it in landscape. If you put it in landscape, it would just, it would just look off because of the size differences. Now, the one thing I don't like though, is that he has his laptop on a laptop stand, which is good, but because the desk is not big enough, it makes the whole thing look claustrophobic. Like you already have two monitors there. Do you honestly need your Huawei MateBook monitor open too? Take it off the desk, put it on a laptop tray underneath it. Your desk will look a lot cleaner. Again, another Keychron mechanical keyboard. I think today's National Keychron Day. And of course, I again, an MX Master mouse on the right hand side. Now he does have a microphone. It's very hard to see because there's a lot of black and, and it's dark. It's the Go Live Mic Pod Pro 700, which is on a mic stand to the right hand side. And he has a docking station underneath a 17 in one USB-C hub so he can connect all of his devices. The tabletop is from Ikea. It's the Linman. He has a potted plant from Ikea. I'd love to see some living plants for once. He has a generic wooden wrist rest, which I also think is from Keychron. And then he has this big generic mouse pad it's a leather mouse pad that spans across the desk and it looks like he has a iPad on the right hand side. Now, I don't know what his cable management looks like, but based on this setup and based how dark it is, I have a feeling he didn't want to show me because it probably looks pretty bad. The final setup comes from Alex. He's from India and hands down, this is the nicest setup I've seen from India on this channel so far. This setup speaks a lot, right? Not only does it have a black and white theme going forward, it's clean, it's minimalistic, it feels futuristic and it's using two laptops to complete this entire process. The main one, the one you see on the right hand side is an Alienware M15 R4 i7 10th gen processor paired with an RTX 3070. This is sitting on a laptop stand or a laptop arm and it's giving the whole floating look that you get with these styles of arms. Then on the left hand side, he has another arm that's holding the Alienware 27 inch 240 Hertz display. So these laptops, same company, they go together. The keyboard is also white. It's the Razer Huntsman Mini. I love this thing. It just looks so good. And then for the mouse, he's also sticking with Razer using the Orochi version two. Now, if you look to the left, he has a big LG 48 inch TV, which he uses to watch my videos, obviously. I mean, come on. And he also has this connected to a MacBook Pro, which is above the monitor. I like the idea behind it. You know, like if you look at his setup, he has all these cable runways going across the side of the room with RGB lights going upwards. And then the cables go downwards behind the monitor in the strip, making the entire cable management process look absolutely awesome. Anyways, that wraps up this week's best laptop setups. Please head over to my Discord server to vote for your favorite one. And if you're interested in submitting your laptop setup, the instructions will be in the description and down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.